Hello everybody, it's Ricardo, and today in the box of discs for the Atari ST, I have found the spy who loved me. Yes, and it worked as well. I'm having good success with the discs out of the attic so far. So James Bond, The Spy Who Loved Me, is a video game adaptation of the 1977 James Bond film, entitled The Spy Who Loved Me. The game was released for the Amiga, the Atari ST, all the main platforms, the Spectrum, the Commodore, and PCs, MS-DOS computers, the Sega Master System, and the ZX Spectrum in the 1990s. A version was planned for the PS1, but was cancelled. Uh, the Spy Who Loved Me is a top-down shooter game in which the player navigates the James Bond environment by driving a modified Lotus Esprit. And we all know about the Lotus Esprit and what it can do with weapons and a submarine capability. It features some characters from the films. Jaws makes an appearance at the end. The game did get a good critical reception, especially on the, the Sinclair Spectrum, where it got about 76%. Uh, Zap64 for the Commodore gave it 38%, though it did track pretty well on the Atari ST. So continuing to navigate on now through this level, building up our power points, trying to dodge all those civilians. Remember, take those jumps head on. Don't do what I just did. These blue sedans, they really do tend to get in your way, and your adversaries, they can draw down quite a bit of your armour. Lining up for the Q truck. Looking out for the oil on the road. So as it gets out of these two lane road section, it has to get increasingly difficult to get into that queue truck, and I am going to die any second. But with 104 power points in my stash, that's not such a bad thing, I haven't got much armour as it is. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Bad show, James. So let's start again, one more time. So here we go, let's get some more power, bit of oil. Look out for the white car, here he comes. On two wheels, bit of stunt driving there. Some more power points. Racking up those power points now, ready to get some good stuff from the Q truck. So I'm going a little bit quicker this time now, getting a bit overconfident. Around the oil, into the truck. So what's Q got for us today? So, armour, always a bonus. And missiles, pursuit missiles. Pursuit missiles to shoot the trucks in front and make light work of those. Still leaving us with a hundred. Let's get back into it. Sweep for this car to pass us so we can shoot him. Through the water. And these red vans, they're quite tough. So progressing on down to this stone section now and we get some more power, that's it, spinning off nicely. Shoot that sedan and its friend. There's quite a few power there if you can line yourself up for it. And now we're being attacked by motorcycle and sidecars. Now, by following the roads and going to the left, you do dodge a 
an awful lot of the adversaries on the right hand side, although there are more obstacles. But as the, the road rejoins itself at the top of this section, you still have to deal with those bad guys. This game is quite frustrating, I think, and sometimes a game can be very playable and be accused of too easy, or the difficulty of the game can cause the tedium. I mean, to be fair, I don't think I'll go back and play this game after this, unless I'm going to show it to my son or something like that, who is adamant that the only thing that you can play a game on is an Xbox these days. And given the fact that there's not an, uh, an abundance of power pellets around to pick up so you can complete the mission, should you get to a certain level, is, I think, one of the downfalls of this game. So we're going to pick up all these in the centre of the road. There's going to be a queue truck coming soon. And as there's a helicopter battle coming up against the Lotus, and if you remember the the black and gold um, helicopters they'll shoot down on us from above so what we need is a different type of missile ground to air so we're driving through here admiring the lovely scenery there's the Q truck all ready and waiting for us, we're lined up, in we go. And now, time to get some new missiles. Bit more armour. See, that's the submarine mod we want. We need that, but we haven't got enough to buy it. So you have to keep going through the level, picking up more as you go. So, exit, let's get out the truck, and let's get on with it. Now being chased by motorcyclists. More blue sedans. And here comes the helicopter. Oh, great. So as you can see, by pressing the fire button, automatically your ground-to-air missiles come into action. And it's not difficult. There you go, he's gone. And we can get on with our lives. Unfortunately, like I mentioned, not an abundance of uh, power to be picked up between here and the jetty, so you do have to go and repeat the level. Which again, adds to the tedium. So there's a turn off to the jetty. Now if we had the submarine add-on, which we don't, you can head down this road, which I'm doing and I know I'm gonna crash. I know I'm gonna die. You would jump off that jetty and then start the water level. But as I don't, I can't. So there you go, that's been a quick look at James Bond, the spy you love me on the Atari ST. This has been, um, a direct copied from the Atari ST via an AV cable into a capture card and then into video editing software and then into YouTube. It hasn't been an emulator. Uh, so far I've enjoyed it. I really enjoyed playing this game. It is a bit tedious as I've mentioned throughout this video and that sometimes can aid to destroying the gameplay. Um, but there you go. That was it. Bad show, James. Thanks for watching. Look out for my other retro videos that are currently on YouTube with the Atari ST. And I may even get my PS1 down soon. <laughs>